Good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. Good morning, good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. Coming to you from beautiful, clear, sunny, snow-capped Southern California, Bolsa Chica State Beach, and beautiful, world-famous Huntington Beach, Surf City. Jeff Deloach, Bible teaching with J.D. Nyjah, Jeff Deloach. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> I was like, wow, I like, I like my haircut because now I can just take off my beanies and my hair won't be funny, but yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> I'm going to hat it up. All right. Good morning, good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, where, wherever time you're watching this video. <clears throat> Man, it's going to be a nice walk today. As soon as it warms up a little bit, it's 8 o'clock. It's still quite cold, 45 45 degrees in Bolsa Chica State Beach, which is pretty cold still. Just about had it with winter and the rain, but so uh, the last video I was talking about GMS and regeneration, and I think that's where um, I think that's where the cutting edge is. Um, in biblical studies is to understand that <clears throat> the spirit doesn't ever die. And so the Bible tells us quite clearly. And um, someone actually came on uh, Vocab Malone's comment board and said, reincarnations of the devil. And um, of all the things that GMS has, has brought to the table, for the average lay lay person, um, lay lay Israelite, if you're Israel, if you are really Israel, um, and that what's interesting about it is the the rabbi. See, a lot of people are afraid of Kabbalah and they're afraid of the mysticism of the Bible, so um, they talk bad on Kabbalah and and you know I've always was scared of Kabbalah myself. And I still am kind of wary of it because uh, I'm I'm afraid there's going to be things there that um that are going to be true and it's going to mess me up. So I got to be really careful how I step into that mysticism. And um, I mean, I'm not that scared of it because I kind of am of that left hand energy. Um, I've come from some pretty my spirit has been here for a long time, so. What I'm saying is even the rabbis, the Yiddish um, um, Amalek rabbis, the Jew, Jewish people um, understand that our spirit continues on and on. I haven't, I, if you listen to Rabbi uh, Simon, what's his name? Jacobson. He has a video on it. He has a couple videos on it. And so the Jewish the Jewish mind knows about regeneration. Um and I think that's what's been really interesting about um the Jew Christian connection is um the Christians want the Jews to come over here and accept Jesus. And the Jews want the Christians to come over here and accept not so much Kabbalah, but the 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 deeper meanings, the rem, remez, the words remez in um, Hebrew. It means deeper, deeper meaning, deeper understanding. And so it's interesting that um, 
both doctrines held firm. I don't know if all the rabbis believe in reincarnation, but I have a feeling they understand the Bible in a way that um, that Christians don't. Christians are just basically um, milk. A lot of them are just milk drinkers, you know, and the way seminary teaches you to um, understand the Bible. Um, and GMS might be right about this. The way Christianity wants you to interpret the Bible is we know better than you. Let us tell you. Let us teach you. We'll tell you what it means. And it's not a conversation. It's a dic dictation. They dictate what you're supposed to believe. You believe this. You believe that. This is how we see this. This is how we see that. And so instead of having a deeper understanding of why, why, like, for example, why this is, this is the biggest question is why, and, and there's answers, why, why the Gentiles? Why, why the other nations? Why? And, um, you know, one of the easiest answers is because Israel was a, didn't, didn't do what they were supposed to do. They were supposed to do like David did and subdue these other nations and, um, and, be, and be rough with them. We were supposed to be rough with these people and that's what David did and that's what people don't understand about David. They're like, King David, we're waiting for our king. And, and yeah, GMS is like, yeah, we can't wait for David. He's going he's gonna to round up all these heathen nations and beat them over the head and put them in chains and may, and feed them to alligators or whatever they say. And um, that David did do that. But the mercies of David come through Solomon, his son. The mercy comes to, onto the Gentiles because... Solomon actually loved his his heathen wives. He loved he loved his pagan wives. He 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 took care of them. He he coddled them. He he actually fell into their belief system. So there's something about that that none of us really want to say because it, it leaves you open for a lot of contradiction and and people getting defensive against you, but um, why did why did our Lord love the other nations so much even though they were not of the of God? That's that's probably one of the most interesting questions of the Bible. That's the mystery. That's the mystery of the Bible. Why why is it it was all about the heathen or are, are w wicked, the heathen, don't learn the ways of the heathen, don't do that. So there was a divide between Israel and, and churches, believers. And it's like, the, where's that mystery? Where's that combining? And that's, that's where we need to be going. And um, see, I have my, I have my beliefs. I have, I believe that and, and Rabbi Jacobson said the same thing. He goes, at one point, Adam and Eve were one entity. And that was awesome to hear him say that because that's what I say. Um, if you look at the Adam and Eve seal, um, they, they look, you can pull it up on, on Google, the Adam and Eve seal. And it's a seal that they used back in the day to um, seal the documents with the rubber or whatever that stuff is it goes around to seal it and they seal it and the adam and eve seal has adam and eve on them and it looks like they're they're spooning in a way that doesn't quite look like there's enough separation it looks like they're bound together so he he's talking about that so i think part of what we're missing here is there's something about women and men that the reason, look at how wicked this kingdom is that we live in, how, how we've been split apart from women. Women don't trust men. Men don't trust women. Women use men. Men use women. Um,
there's not that loyalty. There's no loyalty here. Um, I mean, people are not perfect, and that's where you see things like um, Abraham giving Sarah, pushing her away and saying, that's just my, that's my cousin or whatever he said. That's not my wife. And um, even the heathen, I forget which heathen king it was, is like, why'd you do that? Now, now I had sex. Now I had sex with your wife, dude. Why'd you, are you out of your mind? And so even the heathens, you go back to, um, um, what was it? Ar Artaxerxes even knew that when that woman bucked up against him, um, what was her name? Vashti bucked up against, uh, um, King Asuras and he got rid of her and got Esther, um, even the heathens knew that women weren't supposed to be bucking up and, and man, he even said, he goes, we can't, we can't let these women get away with that or they're going to keep doing it. And that's what we see today is even in my life, um, I'm waiting for someone to, um, submit to me. She's not going to submit to me. And, um, and if I'm going to be with this woman, I'm going to have to um, go against God. So uh, men are in a really, especially if they're, they're biblical, that we're in a very difficult position with women because we, we, one, on one hand, we need to reintegrate the female and the male in a way that makes sense. It's supposed to be a hierarchy, the Lord, the Heavenly Father, the Son, David, the men, the women, the children. That's that's the hierarchy. And um, we can't we can't put the Heavenly Father, we can't put David in charge and and um, Jesus in charge. We can't do that Just right off the bat. We we blow it. And then at that point, the women aren't submitting to the men. The men aren't submitting to God. The children aren't submitting to anybody. Not not their moms or their dads. Um, so that's part of this fig branch blossoming. We see that these. We see that a big part of what the pattern is showing us is we're not a we're not walking with God, and so. That leads into the story I was talking about with Stacy Wood of Saddleback Community Congregation. It, it's an offshoot of Calvary. We were talking about Calvary yesterday. It's um, uh, Pastor uh, Warren, the purpose driven, the purpose driven life. Um, Rick Warren. But anyhow, um, so I opened to what the truth is about the Bible and see what happened. Why, why I bring this up today is because she denied, she she would not back down. She's um, arguing the fact uh, and says, and saying they're going to appeal the decision and... Um, She's fighting against the Bible. So I wanted to read you a little bit about, um, shoot, I lost the place. I was doing something else. Timothy 2.12, 1 Timothy 2.12 is where it talks about women. Um, so this is uh, the letter to Timothy from Paul. Um and I'll just read through it. Um, First Timothy, prayers for all men. So this is this is where we give thanks and say thank you, GMS. Um, I'm sorry that I can't really pray for you, but I will I will intercede as best I can that you guys wake the fuck up and stop your nonsense and and actually have a heart for people. 
Because that's what the Lord wants. It says, I exhort you, therefore, this is um, Paul writing to Timothy, um, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1. I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and givings of thanks be made for all men. All men, GMS. All men, GMS. For kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. So this is what I was talking about, godliness. Um, we want kings, we want kings like Asterus that actually understand that there's a higher power. And that... The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has the right outline for us. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior. So that's talking about Yahushai or Jesus, right? Um, our Savior, God, our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth who will have all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. What does Paul say to Timothy? That Timothy was a part Jew, part Gentile. He was a Gentile on his, I forget how it goes. He was a Gentile on his mother's side and he was a Jew on his father's side. So GMS would say he's a Jew, but um, it's been pointed out over and over again that, that, Timothy was um, part Gentile, whether, however that came about. But it says, "Who will God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. What's the knowledge of the truth? Um, Jesus was born of God, not Joseph. What's the truth? That all men can be saved through, through the grace and the belief in, in our Savior who came to die for us. Um, God in flesh, right? Um, that loving each other and treating each other with respect and, and reverence and knowing that each man is divine. These truths are self-evident. I don't mean to quote the damn Constitution, but there's certain things that are, that are like... If you know the Bible and you know and your spirit is with God, these things are natural, come natural. Um, and so a lot of a lot of Israel has gone into the church and tried to um, speak truth to churches and been, like myself, been excommunicated or pushed away or not listened to or hurt in the spirit because. Because we had a deeper truth that they didn't want to understand. They want to keep it simple so that they can control people. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man and the man, Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be, test, to be testified in due time. In due time. What's, it, what, what's that talking about? Again, it talks about regeneration. He gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. He gave it for every soul that keeps coming back and keeps being judged in due time. He's going to come back. There's no there's no fun in, in living once and dying and then getting judged. You didn't even have a chance. If you only came once, you didn't even have a chance to figure out shit. This, this whole thing he put in a timeline... So that things could play out. That's the pattern. That's the wave. That's the uh, that's the vibration. That's the that's the dispensation. That's and that's what why it's really hard for people that say reincarnation and, and regeneration. That's of the devil. Could you imagine only getting one chance? You get seventy years or eighty years to to do it right once 
they you would never not this world would fall into a pit so fast because there would not be any regenerated spirits that could go uh-uh uh-uh that's wrong that wait 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 let me tell you something and then get thrown off the cliff for telling the truth see and then you cut you come back again you get thrown off the cliff you come back again and it's like good work i'm going to give you a little bit more but these these assholes that threw you off the cliff they get to come back and they're they're throwing us off cliffs now do you get it what i'm saying it's a storyline it's a pattern it's a it's a vibration it's a wave it's a dispensation you one time you get one chance and that's it it's appointed once for a man to die yeah and then the judgment you die and that's what he's saying right here in due time sounds like a long time to me in due time he, he Paul's trying to get you to understand everything's going to come due at a certain time but it's there's going to be a long ledger it's not going to be 70 years and then you get you get whacked on the head nope wrong bink 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 who would ever be right that we would all just fall in the ditch that's what a prophet is a prophet comes back over and over again to keep the vibration of the lord going and that's why they get rewards at the end because they they ha they stand against this wicked shit i mean does that make sense is that making sense to you? So, um, anyone who thinks their spirit, what, your, is your spirit, your spirit just got here? I, my spirit just got here 60 years ago? My spirit, hell no. My spirit was somewhere. And so we look at Ecclesiastes 3.16. It's appointed once for a man to, to die, and then the judgment. And then what's it say about where the judgment is? The judgment, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. I saw under the sun the place of judgment. And wickedness was there and righteousness was there. Who, who said that? Solomon, our Lord, Jesus, as Solomon. That's, he's the one that told us. I saw it. I saw the whole story. And people will... Oh, re re reincarnation's the devil. And all. Come on, sir. You got All you have to do is click your mind in a couple clicks. Click, click. And think about it. It's like, do I feel like I just got here? I know a devil. I asked her, I said, you don't feel like you've been here before? And she goes, nope, this is the first time I've ever been here. I'm like, it scared me. Is, is there ones that just are popping up like bad tears? Boop, boop, maybe. <laughs> Creepy. Because those are the ones that are like, man, how do you love them? They have, they have no experience of, of the divine. How, ca how could they if they were just, just created? I mean, they could, but maybe there's some like that that are just divine. There's going to be angels popping up too. Boop, boop, boop. New, new created angels. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't. I don't feel it. Maybe. Um, where, whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle, I speak the truth in Christ and lie not. Big, big statement. Let me see what I got. Damn, I'm slow. <laughs> I'm slow to, to explain things. I'm, I guess I'm not that good at it. But um, I speak the truth in Christ and lie not. Why, why does Paul not lie? Because he's the spirit of Saul, probably. King Saul. Saul went through hell. He, was a, he, he caused a lot of problems, so he had to come back as Paul. And I've gone into these teachings before. You can look at the parallels between... The things that were said to Saul from the Lord and the things that were said to the Apostle Paul from the Lord. Things like, you're going to have to suffer many things for my sake. You're going you're gonna to have to do what I, what I tell you to do. Um, you're, you're anointed by me. Um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of things that 
that would point to um, King Saul going from Saul to Jeremiah to the Apostle Paul. And he tells Jeremiah at the beginning, dude, I knew you before you were in the womb. And there's another example of regeneration. I, Your spirit, dude, I already know who you are. You're going to go speak for me. And you're going to suffer many things for my sake. So um, I'll be back. We'll, we'll, get, we'll finally get into the Stacy Wood saddleback. But it, then it says, I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. So here's another... Another message for J.D. Nyjah. Jeff, my son, stop it. Stop having wrath on these, on these uh, demented, confused um, individuals that are your brothers. Those, those guys are my brothers. And, and it's like, it's like being in a family feud. It's like, dude, I don't hate you for, for, the way you look, I hate you for, for what you've done to yourselves. Um, when are you guys going to like stop contradicting each other and stop fighting with each other and stop rebelling against God and, and, and open your ears and listen to someone else? Yeah, they think they don't have to listen. And it's like, could you imagine if they just started moving forward instead of staying in their in that block they're they're black they're they've completely blocked themselves in with their with their doctrines on the gentiles and on the birth of christ the trinity it's um it's distressing that um men that used to you know that they used to love the bible otherwise they wouldn't have gone through everything they've gone through but um, part of it had to do with money and part of it had to do with power and pride and they wanted to be famous. They want to be the men of the Lord. We're the prophets of the Lord. Dude, if you are, you are. You don't have to you don't have to keep saying it. Prove it. And all you guys, all you GMS guys are doing right now is proving that you guys can't figure out what the Bible says. You can't quite get it. So, J.D. Nyjah, Word of Truth, I hope this message was informative, um, edifying, no, some knowledge was pushed forth, um, some biblical understanding, some worldly understanding. Some. So, if, if you want to um, hear me talk about the Bible, subscribe. I talk about the Bible every day. Um, I'm learning. I'm learning that um, to pray for men everywhere and lifting up holy hands without wrath or doubting. So I'm giving them room to do what they need to do. And I hope they repent. J.D. Nyjah, I'll be back.